Good morning teachers, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a tar papel using Microsoft Excel. So first, you open Microsoft Excel. Click blank workbook. Okay, next, you click page layout. Next, click margins. Next, choose narrow to set for narrow margins. Okay, so this time, if you're going to zoom out, you can see actually the boundaries of your page. Okay, so next, uh, you're going to decide how many, how many bond papers uh, you are going to print your tarp. Papel. So, you decide the dimensions of your tarpaulin or tarpapel. Okay, so next, you make your design. You insert your background. Click insert. Click pictures. Okay, so you look for your picture. Okay, for instance, this is your background. Choose your background and then click insert. Okay, so next, you resize by dragging this fill handle so for instance if you want to print this one with eight bond papers so you make sure you fill all the uh, eight boundaries of the paper or bond paper okay so for example that one you scroll down to check okay so zoom out to make to show the whole page okay so put it at the center of your design your reposition Okay, for example, that one, the next thing you're going to do is to insert text or to type text. You click insert, then click this one, word art, you click word art, okay, so you choose any of these, for instance, click this one, and then you type your text. Okay, then you move. Uh, make sure you point with the four-headed arrow so that you can move. So, to change the size of the text, you highlight. Okay, go back to home. And then, just type here the size of the text. For instance, 250. Do not forget to press enter. Okay, so for example, you're going to change the font style. This one. Okay, so now you adjust to center it on your screen. You press enter to cut. For example, this is your design. Move to the center. Okay, so to customize your text, you can simply click the format. Uh, this text field is actually the color of the text inside and click text outline is the outline outside of the text so for instance you choose yellow this one or you can also uh, select you can also adjust the weight or the thickness of the stroke well, for instance this one six point you click or you can also customize the outline by clicking this one again click the weight and then more lines okay you can make a gradient line here so for instance you want a gradient line or a mix of colors so you at the gradient stops you click this one and then you choose a color for example you want green then you are going to mix it with yellow with this gradient stop click this one and then click for yellow uh, for instance select this one and then you click for uh, blue okay so click this one and then choose another color for instance uh, this one purple okay so that's how to change a gradient color and you can adjust the angle of the gradient and you can adjust here the gradient okay so for instance if you are satisfied with that you can simply close this one okay so now you can add another pictures for your design by going back to insert pictures then you choose for example this one click insert 
okay so that you just make sure that when you put pictures here so that there is no white background you choose pictures with which is png or portable network graphics so you can search that one in google images uh, just type a uh, picture for instance you look for flowers you type flowers space png so that it will display transparent graphics for flowers so for instance you duplicate this one you just go to home you can copy and then paste okay and then you go you can move it here okay so now you can press ctrl p or you can click file and then you click print okay so this time uh, you are viewing actually the each pages of your tarp so look at here you have eight pages tarp so the second page is this one third fourth fifth six seven and eight so those are actually the pages that you are going to print so in printing you just right here one two eight and then you click print you just set the active printer here so by printing and then after that uh, you just simply paste or it's like a picture puzzle you just simply combine all the pictures so that's all how to create or to make a tarp papel using microsoft excel so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated of all the videos that i'm going to upload thanks for watching